This tutorial is about taking a schematic diagram in the dip trace schematic program and converting it to a circuit board in the PCB layout program. So what I'm going to do first off is I need to export this out or convert this to a PCB. So I go file, convert to PCB. If there's any errors, they'll come up now. Uh, since there's no errors, this one making PCB for schematic comes up. Just use schematic rules, hit OK. And you're now into the PCB layout program. First thing I do is just zoom out so you can see everything. You can see these are all my parts now. They are to the actual size they're going to be when you are finished. And so each part, you can see that when I highlight certain spots, the red shows you where all the connection to that is. That's most likely uh, ground as it goes all the way through to all the different parts. So to begin with, what I need to do is set up a few things. So along the top here, there's all these different uh, libraries. I don't need any of those. So I'm just going to go to library, library setup. We're going to go back to get from library. And instead of all these, I'm going to go select. I'm going to select the K drive and electronics lab, dip trace. And it'll have this. When I hit close, only my basic parts and the parts for my Arduino stuff come in. Notice that these now are not schematic symbols, but they are actually the part as if it was to be placed in real size on the board. So if I just place an LED there, I could. So if I wanted to add an extra LED in here, I could. Okay, but I'm just going to delete that. So that's the first thing. Second thing I need to do is set up what's called the route settings. So I'm going to route, auto, current auto router. I'm going to go to what's called the grid router. It's already selected. Under route, auto router setup. I need to change a couple things. First off, it says use all layers. I don't want to use more than one layer. I only have one circuit board layer, so I'm going to go up to, oops, right down to one. Allow jumper wires. I'm not going to let jumper wires be permitted at this point in time because otherwise they just make a mess everywhere and we just hit OK. The second thing we have to do under route is we go to route setup and the trace width. I'm going to make sure that it's a little bit thicker so 0.05 and trace width clearance out we can leave that. And that's basically what I need to set up. Now if I just wanted to leave this as is I could just press the little route here and it would make a circuit board. And you can see that there's a problem here because this blue line didn't route. Um, the other problem with this, just doing this automatically, is when I go to File, Design Information, this board is 2 inches by 5 and a half inches. It's way too big. You're going to be able to get this to about 2 inches by 2 inches. So hit Close. If I want to get rid of all this stuff, I go Route, Unroute All, and then Object, Delete Board, and I'm back to square one. So what I'm going to start doing is moving stuff together closer. Start off with the AC input. I'm just going to spin it by hitting spacebar. And you can see now that all three of those are connected to each other. So I'm going to take this top diode and actually spin it around. And I'm going to move it closer. Now you have to remember that this is going to be a circuit board. So these can all be quite close together as long as they don't touch. And by providing a bit of space, um, it leaves it for all, it leaves enough to, for the traces to go around. So next is I can see those are together. So I'm going to spin this around. I'm just going to move these like this. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to put these a little bit further back. And again, I just like things being symmetrical, so I'm going to try and make them all the same. And then I'm going to take this capacitor and I'm going to put it right in through here. It makes everything nice and small. I'm going to take this capacitor, I'm going to spin it, and I'm going to put it nice and close to here. Now, to make it quicker, I'm going to highlight everything, grab one of the parts, and just put everything closer. And then what I'm going to do is just zoom in so there's a bit better view. Okay, next up, the LM378. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to spin it. And those ones go together, those ones. So I'm going to put this thing right like that. And then this guy, because it goes right near them, those go together, those go. So I'm going to put it really close, like that. And then now these guys, those guys go together. So I'm going to spin that around. So those are the same. And I'm actually going to put these, I think, close together. Okay, And then these guys, where is it? Those ones go together. And those ones go together. So I think I'm going to put this over here. Try and put this like this. Maybe I'll take this one, spin it around. And let's see what happens. Put those there. I'm going to move these up into here for something to do. And then I'm going to move this guy a bit closer. 
And let's just see what happens here. Okay, so I press auto route and it comes up and you can see I have only one error. Now the error sometimes you can see where things can go. So this has got to get from here to there. And if I follow this, well really this could come around here, down along the bottom, come up through here, come up around into here and make it all the way into there just with a bit of movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move some things apart and go to the bottom layer now because I want to work on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these and I'm actually going to move things apart a bit. Or even better, what I'll do is I'll take this resistor, put it closer, and I'll put this guy, whoops, there. Okay, and oh, that was kind of dumb because now I can't scoot through there. So this guy's going to go this. I'm going to grab what's called a route manual, and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to scoot through here. And don't worry about the board yet because I can delete the board in a sec. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to come up like this for now. Come up here, and oh, I should not have done that spot there. So I'm going to scoot through here at the moment, and I'll fix this after. I'm going to scoot through here, like this, like that, like that, and eventually I'm going to get to there. Now, what happens is, if I route, it's going to give me all these errors and little circles that tell me that basically there's something wrong. So first off, I'm going to take object, delete the board. Now if I reroute, it gets rid of the circles down here because they were just touching the board. In here though, I've got a problem. So I'm going to move this up a bit and I'm going to take that resistor that I moved earlier, go back to the top layer. And if I move this and I move it up a bit, and then I can go back to the bottom layer. And now what I can do is I can just move some of these around, move this one up higher, move that up higher. I'm just going to move this one completely out of the way. Just do that out of the way. Okay, I'm going to, now I've got a bit more room to work here. And I can move this one down. Now if I reroute again, you can see it fixes some more spots. Okay, and I just got a few spots in here problem now. So I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to move that one like that, that one like that, reroute it, and now I have no errors. So that's basically how to finish off the board. Now, my only problem is this guy here, I can't have this trace sticking out because if you think about it, this is the USB connector that's going to sit outside plastic. So I want to make sure that's set back a bit. So, okay, and I can just now clean some stuff up. I'll just move that a bit closer. And that's basically it. So my circuit board's done. Now, how big is it? File, design information, it's 2.7 by 2, so that's still way too big. So what I need to do is slowly make this smaller. Now to make it smaller, I can go back to the top layer, and I can take this part, capacitor, and I can move it way in. However, when I do that, and I go back to the bottom, I hit route, you can see it's going to come up with an error. So this wire here has got to come out the back like this. And I can go like that. And this one, oops, let's just get to, come on. There we go, that cleans up there, which now means this one here can move way in. And you can see that I just have to start moving everything in closer now. And then it just continues on. Everything moves closer and you just work at it. Now, the nice thing is that this program is quite easy to use this way. If you were doing this years ago, you would take hours to make a circuit board. This basically in five minutes you can usually be done. But because I'm trying to make it smaller, it'll take a while. So I can continue moving all this stuff, can all get pushed in, and it'll eventually get a lot smaller. So one more time, I'll just move the top, and I can move this all in. You can see this all goes quite a ways in. and. Then I'll go back to the bottom layer, and then I can move this in, and then I can move this in, and now if I delete the board, so object, delete board, and then reroute it again, you can see now that my design information, I'm down to 2.5, so I still got a half inch to go. And as I go, I can work it through, and you can see how there's lots more space in here that I could scrunch stuff up in. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. 
And the next step is basically printing. So all I would do is go File, Print Preview. And if I go up to Scale here and I select 75%, you can see now that it's on the piece of paper. I can take this as the Move board and I can move up to the corner. And then what I don't want is I don't want the box around it. So on here, under Objects, I can turn the board off. And that now shows me just the outside. Now, I can turn the board back on, and let's say I wanted to know where all the parts go later. What I could do is change the layers to top, and then it just shows just the layers and where all the parts go. And you can see what's nice is they're all labeled, so you can't mess up as to where the parts go. But basically that's it. All you have to do now is print it out, and that's just a matter of pressing print and printing it out to the right printer. That is the end of the tutorial.